All right, in this video, video number two of T's math tips, and the request from a viewer was they wanted to see how to translate words, phrases, sentences into expressions, equations, and inequalities. Now, expressions, equations, and inequalities are all different, but they all revolve around algebra. Now, we do have three trickier examples to cover here at the end as well, so hang out and make sure you tune in for those as well. Number one, Let's see what this is, first of all. Is it an expression, an equation, or an inequality? Seven more than a number. Seven more than a number. There's our translated sentence or phrase into what we call an expression. Because this sentence up here does not include the word is, or is equal to, or is greater than, or is less than. It simply says seven more than a number seven more than a number, more than. Now, don't confuse that with the greater than symbol. It does not say seven is more than a number. Check this out. This is completely different. Seven is more than a number. Seven is more than a number. Completely different. That one little word is changes the whole game. Seven more than a number, that is an expression. Seven is more than a number. That's an example of an inequality. Now keep that in mind. That one little word changed the whole game there. Let's look at this one now. Seven more than a number is 18. Seven more than a number is 18. There's our equation. This is an equation now because we have an equal in it. Is is oftentimes an indicator of when you need to use an equals. However, we don't always use an equals when we see the word is. Let's take note of this last one here. Seven more than a number, well, here we go again. Seven more than a number is greater than six. Is greater than six. When we have our little inequality symbols, greater than's the alligator. Think about an alligator's mouth. When we have more than or greater than, the alligator is going to open its mouth to the left. Notice it's opening its mouth towards the left. It's eating the bigger piece, if you will. Now, we could come through here and solve these, but I think for the T's test, for this particular part, they're going to want you to be able to translate these sentences into expressions, equations, or inequalities, and that's going to be the main goal there. However, we could solve these. We could solve this one. We could solve this one using our techniques for solving equations and inequalities. Check out my videos on that for more information there. Our main goal here is to translate these things into the appropriate expression, equation, or inequality. Now these next three, these are tricky. Five less than a number. So we have an expression again because I don't see is something, is more than something, but that's not what makes this tricky. Ask yourself this question. What is this? Five less than 20. 5 less than 20 is 15, right? Well, how would you write that as a math problem? Would you write 5 minus 20? Some people will, but that is incorrect. Some people read this and they say 5 less than 20, well, 5 minus 20. But that's equal to negative 15. The way you think about this mathematically is 20 minus 5. Because 5 less than 20, really you're taking 20 and you're finding 5 less than that. That's how we get 15. Subtraction, the order in which you subtract numbers is very important. Addition, not so much. You can add numbers in any order that you want. Also, do not confuse this with any of this stuff up here in blue. 5 is less than 20. Well, that would be an inequality. 5 is less than 20. Well, no duh, but the point I'm making here is this. Uh, that keyword is, back like I mentioned in the first part of this video, that changes the whole game. Make sure you keep your eyes out for that. So back to number one, five less than a number. So we take that number, just like I took that 20, and we find five less than that by subtracting five. That is our expression. Again, we do not have an equals, a greater than symbol, or a less than symbol, nothing like that. Therefore, we have an expression. Number two, half of a number. How do you take half of a number? We can take that number and divide it by two. You can always take a number, divide it by two to find half of it. Plus four, so we got plus four, is 
six less than that number. Six less than that number is similar to what we had up here. So we want to take that number. When we find six less than that, we subtract six from it. Now, one thing to add on to this, some of you may write this number one as something like this, negative five plus x. This is the same expression as this. The reason why this five, think of it as a negative five, and I wrote a negative five. That x has no sign in front of it, therefore we assume it to be positive. So you could do something very similar down here. You could write negative six plus x, but this is the better looking way if I wanna even give one a better looking way versus the other of us just writing x minus six. That means six less than a number. And last but not least, number three, a number increased by seven. So we're taking a number, we're increasing it by seven, is less than, this is what makes it an inequality, is less than, so there's our less than symbol. But also notice, or equal to. Or equal to, we put a little line beneath that less than symbol. Twice that number, two x, that means two times that number, decrease by four, we subtract four. This is our translated inequality that we got from this phrase or sentence up here. And again, what we could do with number two and number three, just like in the first part of the video, we could solve those, but the main goal here is you being able to take these sentences, these words, these phrases, and translating them into an expression, an equation, and an inequality. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.